Hello my extraordinary family. Today we are at the Almond Roca factory and I'm so excited to take you guys along with us because these candies were one of my favorites around Christmas time. My aunts and uncles and my grandparents always had these candies and they bring back so many wonderful memories. So I reached out to the company to, just to make sure I can actually film in their outlet store and I can and the director of marketing, Kathy, responded saying you absolutely can and I'll even give you a little bit of an interview and hopefully, if we're lucky, she might even show us a little behind the scenes footage. So let's get in there and see how these historical candies are made. But around this corner is something that's wow. kind of shocking and impressive, I think, to people. Uh, the scope. It really yeah, wow, the that's scope wow, that's crazy. Of, of how much almond roca and, and the seven other really flavors goes of out. Roca yeah. we actually produce. This is just packaging. So this isn't even product. Um, and this is a small portion of our warehouse that we uh -huh. put the packaging in. Once it gets filled, it takes up a lot more space too. So, wow. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, so with uh, like the holidays coming up, I assume yeah. that's like a really, really busy time. So um, it's, it's funny that you should say that because um, our two top seasons are Christmas and Chinese New Year. Yeah. And because Chinese New Year happens in January, February, and that product has to mainly get shipped overseas. We do we do some here in the U.S. and in Canada for um, Lunar New Year, but uh, the majority of the bulk of it has to ship over there. Yeah, it so makes... shipping at the same time. It makes sense that, like, for Chinese New Year, because gold is a symbol yeah. of luck and wealth well, that, like, you're wrapping and, in it. Um, the roca, ro ka, those uh -huh. symbols that ro and ka in Cantonese is happy family. Oh, honey, uh, not I intended, did not. Not intended. Uh, <laughs> Jacqueline Noel was a Tacoma librarian who came up with the name almond roca. She had no clue that what she was doing, the Spanish word for rock, because all hard candies uh -huh. were called rock candies, so she used the Spanish word for rock. Um, that it would also turn into this. That's dual cool. Meaning, so neat. Yeah. Very neat. Yeah, so we have. Um, uh, this is our, our distribution and warehouse center. Uh -huh. The factory over in Tacoma um, was originally a shoe plant that we purchased in 1918 and moved in. And it's the same plant we've been in. It's been added on to seven times. Wow. And um, we now currently make over three million pieces of Roca every single day. Out of that factory. So what brought me out here too was I had no idea your guys's company was you know out here and it was made out here yeah was yeah. that I think you guys just celebrated the 100th of the candy uh, almond roca yeah uh, was invented um in 1923 um actually what's really crazy is the original kettle that it was made in is sitting right here in the oh corner. is it really wow yeah. oh we have all our Christmas stuff right now so it's kind yeah of fun. but yeah um this kettle was purchased in the early 1920s make it in copper kettles anymore but um uh that was the kettle that Almond wow. Roca came out of originally. Wow, cool, very cool. And even before Almond Roca, which is celebrating its 100 years this year, um, we had mountain the bars. The mountain bars. Yeah. I remember yeah. those too growing yeah. up. My favorite was always the cherry. Uh, it's mine too. <laughs> it's mine too. You can almost tell where people are from or where their families are from by their flavor choice. So peanut butter is the number one selling. But in Eastern Washington, uh -huh. uh, cherry outsells all three flavors. Yeah. yeah. A few years ago, uh, the Brown family uh, came and had a family reunion here at our, our location in Fife and um, asked if we'd like his, Harry Brown's old desk that they had his, this was his desk that he, he worked at. And we said, sure, we'd love to take that. And um, so we've kind of curated a few things, um, you know, old cash ledgers, old orders, um, the, an old uh, actual sales book. Um, oh, how cool. That actually has pictures of oh my goodness. products that we used to. And right front and center is the uh, almond roca tin, of course. Um, the old box chocolates that they used to, to sell. 
how they used to take orders. So this yeah. is how they would write their orders up oh with their quill pens. <laughs> you know, ledger was written it was with a with a pen just like that. So not really all that long ago. It mm -hmm. feels like that was you know. I know it's amazing how far we have come with the technology. technology. <laughs> it's like just speeding along here. Well, uh, you know, if <laughs> for you, the good or the bad, yeah. depending so, on how you view it. This, this thing weighs about eight pounds, nine pounds, and um, when you when you stamp it down, it rotates the number by one. And uh, what this was used for, it's a giant cast iron stamp, and it was for marking. Uh, cases of product. Oh, wow. Um, and it would have been wooden cases that could be reused. Yeah. But um, nowadays, the cases run by on a conveyor belt and a machine video jets. It just sprays the, the number and colors yeah. on the side. This, somebody would hold, that is hold heavy this duty. nine pound thing in their hand and then they would stamp I mean, it directly I mean, on the case every single time. You must not like, I mean, people that worked here must have not have gone too much weight from the candy because they had to work out so much, it was, right? It was a gym membership <laughs> and, and everything in one. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's, and it's really interesting to see where we've come with um, like these sales books like this, where it was a, like basically a photo book. This is how they would sell uh, products. Is oh, okay, they would yeah. Just, they would take Kinda this like, into the store. And nowadays you like send out an email with yeah. a catalog and, and they decide, or you load it into some system and, and they see it. What would you say is the, the secret to having a candy company like just last this long? Um, uh, you know, it's a pretty mundane term, but consistency. So yeah. we have chosen not to change the recipe. Uh, on the Broca especially, um, you know, uh, techniques, uh, equipment, all of that improves. So the efficiencies and consistency of, of the piece shape and size versus being handmade, uh -huh. um, you know, when it's made on, on a larger scale, but keeping the ingredients the way they were. Lots and lots of butter every single day. Um, you know, How much butter do you guys go uh, through a day? You think? In, in a day, over 10,000 pounds of butter. Wow, that's a, a lot day. of butter. Yeah. It depends. Sometimes <laughs> it's more than that. Like yeah. right now, during peak season, it's yeah. more than that. Um, to kind of put it into perspective, as a company, we use about 7 million pounds of chocolate a year. Um, you know, so it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, um, you know, just staying true. Like you can look at the packaging all the way back from when we originally started um, to even today. Kind yeah. Of keeping the iconic. Um, like it's very recognizable. Right. People aren't going to be like, oh, it got a new look. I have no idea what this candy yeah. is. And, and the store, you know, the store we're in right now sells a lot of other things, but what people come for is this area. A so lot of them come here. what is all this? So back when I was a kid, um, we'd go to the little store at Tacoma and they were called Boo Boos. Uh, uh, now we call them factory seconds. Uh -huh. It's the same thing though. It's um, the pieces that are, especially on Roca, if it's not the right size or if it's a double, like two of them stick together, yeah. can't go through the wrappers. Okay. So if it can't be wrapped, it's not Roca. So, uh, you know, uh, they end up going into these bags and they get sell sold at a discount. Fresh product, same product. Very they just don't cool. look perfect or can't be wrapped. Yeah. Um, you know, they might. You they could might just get put that in a big bowl at Christmas yeah, time just, and be good with it. If, uh, we produce all kinds of things for private label and industrial ingredient to go into bars and cookies and things like that. And so there's still factory seconds from those things. So you, you never know what you're going to find when you're here because that uh, is so neat you know white chocolate peppermint chunks so if you're making a, a cookie you could throw those chunks in there one of the things that made us survive you would ask that uh-huh is is that during world war ii uh, when everybody else was on sugar rations we had a, a military contract to make almond roca and put it in a tin because we're so close to the military bases here that we were able to um, make our product, put it in a tin, and it could go overseas and not be damaged. So there wasn't uh, moisture or infestation or something like that that would happen with other candies. And nice. so they took it to uh, Asia, which were, uh, you know, China was our ally in World War II. And, um, we went there and they used uh, the almond roca tin as a bartering tool to get oh, perishables and things like that. And they gave it as gifts too, like just, you know, uh, here's a gift from 
you know, yeah. the United States, yeah. you know, yeah. something to brighten their day. Yeah. Um, and it stayed. Uh, so once it got there, it stayed. And, nice. Um, yeah. Well, this looks yummy. Oh, that's butter so toffee popcorn. So, um, what we have here is the toffee that's the almond roca toffee, uh, but uh, it's put onto popcorn, um, and it's not just any old popcorn either. There's actually different types of kernels. Like when you go oh. to the movie theater, uh -huh. um, the kernel that you see there has a lot of. Uh, uh, spaces and gaps it kind of explodes uh -huh. where this is called uh, mushroom popcorn and it's uh, these are drawings of it but it's perfectly round oh yeah and the benefit of that perfectly round pieces is that you can actually cover it with the almond roca toffee and then there's slivered almonds and um, oh yeah uh, the slivered almonds also get covered with the toffee but a lot of times they'll stick to the popcorn uh -huh. but in a lot of cases they break off and kind of fall to the bottom so then when you're all done eating the popcorn you have all this toffee covered almond on the bottom of the bag as well so. almonds macadamia dark there's the sea salt and then uh let's see here we got uh, cashew and mocha let's see if we can't get them all right here. okay and then we're missing our extra dark so that's that's them all that's all of the flavors all eight of them oh my goodness well uh -huh. i think my husband and i may might have to get all eight flavors and try them out to see what's our favorite these are the classic brocas and then we wash broca bites it comes in three flavors this is two of them so it's little bite-sized versions of the almond roca. nice and then this one's unique you can't get it in the other eight flavors it has it has almonds on the inside milk chocolate on the outside but no nuts on the outside so the person who likes a little less yeah but maybe a little more chocolate a little less almond. That's that's the one for them. So you can feel like you're indulging without over indulging right. in those. Right. <laughs> you gotta be careful though. You gotta know when to stop. <laughs> right. So this is where all of these are toffee with a little bit of chocolate. Uh -huh. This is chocolate with a little bit of toffee. It's so the, for those that it. want more chocolate. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's a really thin chocolate that has uh, the toffee bits throughout it. And in January, we're actually launching a, another line extension, um, which is a no nut. So there'll be no almonds, no peanuts, no nothing in it. But it's a chocolate bar, um, bean to bar, so uh, very artisan, um, that has just the heart of Roka in it. So it's oh. just the toffee uh, in a milk and a dark chocolate. Variety. Oh, that's nice. In a bar. So yeah, like oh, a neat. Bar. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's that's insider information. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, yeah, the, especially those who are like allergic to nuts, that'd be a right, good way to go. Right. Yeah. yeah, and that's something that people have asked us for a long time. Do you just sell the toffee? Do you just sell the toffee? Yeah. And, and you know, our facility, uh, oddly enough, has a lot of almonds in it. So um, you know, we had to come up with a way that we could do this and make sure that it was completely yeah, safe. Allergen yeah, allergen free. So, yeah. free. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. We love all of our subscribers here, so if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Oh my goodness, so you can buy big bulks of chocolate pieces here too. $3 per pound. And then here are their mountain bars. Kind of a closer look at it. These are the cherry ones, my absolute favorite. I love the look of this tin with the space needle and the fairy. Beautiful packaging. That's a nice, that would be a nice gift there. I'm excited to try these peppermint ones. I actually make peppermint bark every year, but I bet you these ones are better. <laughs> so you can even get all four of them as a set for a lovely gift for Christmas. Wow, look at this chocolate bar here. Wow, that's got some weight. That's a lot of chocolate. How many pounds is that? It says 10 pounds of chocolate for $30. Wow, that is heavy.
All right, so we are at their original location where they are still making the almond rocas. Where we were, that was their packaging outlet factory, but this is where they make them. Oh my goodness, you can smell the toffee in the air. It smells so good. <laughs> smells so good it's actually making my mouth water right now and so I could not end this video without showing you the actual location this was a shoe factory originally when they purchased it and just it looks amazing still after all of these years this is the new sign that they put up now it does not look like it, it looks like still the very original one but the colors and the paint job, it really pops and it looks great. So they also have another factory store out here. It's a smaller one. Um, if I'm correct, I believe this building was part of the World's Fair out here in Seattle. And I've kind of looked into it and apparently even Elvis had walked amongst in that building before and then they moved it from the World's Fair to its location here at the factory. I'm actually not going to go inside this outlet store just because of the one that we just came from was a lot bigger and it pretty much has the exact same thing in this one. But either way, come out to this one, come out to the original site, take a look at the building and all of the eclectic feel of it all, or go out to the outlet factory. You won't be disappointed in the candies that you find. Well, Kathy actually hooked us up with a bunch of different kinds of almond roca. I'm so excited to get it back home to the kids and to the husband. We're going to try all of it and see what's our favorite. Wow, look at all this almond roca we got, you guys. We got one of everything, including the mountain bars. I cannot thank Kathy Renacker enough for giving all of these delicious treats to us to showcase to you guys. I promise you none of this will go to waste. We are definitely going to be filling up stockings, family gifts, you name it, with this candy because it is a lot of candy and there is no way we can finish it all. I can't believe how nervous I still get when I turn on the camera, even after two years, especially when I give interviews like this. So I put so much love into this video, and if you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like button for me. But I wanted to do a full down sit down and taste test all of these delicious uh, candy products for you guys, but I realized it would just make this video just a little bit too long. But if you have a question about a candy and wanna know more about it, what's the flavor like? We did sample and taste this throughout like the past like week. So go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will answer it the best that I can. If you're looking to purchase some almond roca for yourself, go ahead and also look in the description. I will leave a link down there so you can order some for the holidays. It is such a great candy and I hope you enjoy it as much as my family does. And remember you guys, as always, that an ordinary life can truly be extraordinary.